We're going to hear from the authors nominated for the traditional Trillium Prize, the Trillium Book Award, Le Prix Littéraire Trillium. We are so pleased to have almost all of our nominees in attendance tonight. Two of our authors did have scheduling conflicts, though, and that have kept them away from this evening, so let me acknowledge them. Maurice Henri already has a Trillium Award to his credit, but he's nominated again this year for his novel L'Enfant Sément, published by Édition Prise de Parole. And David Gilmore is nominated for his sixth novel called The Perfect Order of Things. It's published by Thomas Allen Publishers. Ces deux auteurs avaient d'autres obligations ce soir et n'étaient pas en mesure de nous rejoindre. Honorons ensemble ces accomplissements. Let's congratulate them both in absentia on their wonderful writing. We're already here now for our next finalist, Ken Babstock, who's nominated for his collection of poetry, Methodist Hatchet. Now, if you're wondering more poetry, let me explain. The Trillium Award for Poetry, that is given for first, second, or third book only. This is Ken's fourth collection, so he's had to move into the traditional book award category. Since his debut in 1999, Ken Babstock has ranked among the best poets of his time. When his debut, Mean, came out, Time Magazine said it was one of the best things to happen to poetry in Canada. When his third book came out in 2006, called Airstream Land Yacht, the Globe and Mail called it perhaps the most important poetry book yet from any Canadian born in the 1970s or beyond. That book was a finalist for the Griffin Poetry Prize, the Governor General's Literary Award, the Winterset Prize, and it won the Trillium Book Award for Poetry that year. When his fourth book appeared, the walrus declared it's time to call him what he is, the best Canadian poet of his generation. So that was high praise indeed, reinforced just the other day when he won the Griffin Poetry Prize for the very work from which he is going to read to us tonight. So congratulations on that, number one. And to read, absolutely, let's join in that. And to read from this nominated collection, Methodist Hatchet, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Babstock. Thank you all for coming today, and it is a genuine honor to be included in, in a group of such um, really genuine talent, fierce, fierce, fiercely talented writers um, across genre. So it's it's just a great feeling, and I wish you all the best of luck. And the same again to the to the um, shortlisted poets for the Trillium Poetry Award. I'll just read one poem called Caledonia. Then we came out in numbers. Organized as Canadians, we came out in numbers with flags. With flags aloft and hooting, we stepped out in anger and in numbers. In numbers as Canadians, we came out drunk and threw rocks. We threw rocks and golf balls as our patience had come to its natural end. As Canadians, we threw rocks past our flags aloft. Having finally been angered enough, we came out at night with rocks. We'd been, as Canadians, infringed upon, we thought, with flags. So we threw rocks. Rocks and choice epithets and golf balls hooting. You don't live here. We're proud Canadians in anger with rocks and not limitless patience. We appeared in numbers around barrel fires and spoke. Into megaphones at the OPP drunk and them we'd had enough of as Canadians. Citizens with flags and megaphones and our rights and some of our children threw rocks at the very end of their young patients with flags and placards hooting. Our kids came out in numbers to stand in solidarity with us into megaphones demanding we throw rocks and a few choice Canadians without access to that road as our only route through anger with flags aloft alongside placards and our kids angry to be blocked by them with special treatment to be angered by rocks thrown in Canadian solidarity with megaphones and our kids in numbers aloft in a wind over patients our only route you don't have to live near them as Canadians drunk with rocks. We came out in numbers at night as Canadians around barrel fires singing. Thank you all.